Look at that big, ugly monster. It's been, what, 30, 40 years. It still gives me the creeps. Still keep expecting one of these pig-faced monsters to come jumping out at me. familiar ring to it. Uh, I don't want to do too much crossing out when this pen runs out of the ink. I may never find another that writes. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. <sighs> Damn it, Trent. Don't be such a wise ass. This is important. This could end up being the most important historical record of the new world. Oh, let me see. I didn't think my memoirs could be this hard. How I Saved the World by Harry Trent. <laughs> okay, we'll let that pass. I'm not a writer. I am or was a thief. But thief or not, I'm the man to tell this story. I was there at the beginning. I saw more of how it started than anyone else, alive or dead. I was there when the five-year reign of the Isaacs ended, and I helped to end it. Started one night back around the turn of the century. I was on a job. It hadn't been a good day. It wasn't getting any better. the whole friggin' building down, wouldn't you? Steiner would love that. Hey, Trent! Let's talk, okay? Sure. What do you want to talk about? All we want is the tape back. Tape? What tape? Don't try to bullshit me, Trent. If you don't give yourself up right now, we'll just have to call the feds in. You spend the rest of your life in prison. This isn't just your everyday industrial espionage, you know. We're talking heavy weaponry. Hell, you'll be lucky if they don't put you to sleep. Now, what are you, a commie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a commie. I'm just a regular old red-blooded American capitalist, that's all. Just out to make a buck. Should make a pretty decent killing off of this thing. But don't you guys worry yourselves about it, because all my offers are from our fellow bourgeoisie, so this isn't going to leave the country. All right, go call the feds. No, 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 I say we blast them. Get moving. I'm sorry, but your Sabre Easy Lighter is now out of fuel. But don't worry. Just toss it away and stop by your neighborhood. Hey, Trent, you got a light? No, sorry, I quit smoking when the carton started talking back to me. You've had it, you know. My partner's gone for the feds. Your number's up. You're trapped. There ain't no way out. We'll see. Great. Oh, I love it, I love it. 
always wanted one of these things. Hey, what's happening in there? Hey! Get those doors open for me, baby. Here we go. Code number, please. What? I'm sorry, but the hangar doors cannot be opened without the authorized code number. But I don't have any code number. Then you cannot open the hangar doors. Well, how am I going to get out of here? I'm sorry. I do not have that information. Trent, come on. Don't play with that stuff in there. Trent? <laughs> Computer. Computer, what would happen if I ran the doors? What? Would the ship survive the impact if I ran through the doors? That is not recommended procedure for departure. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, but, but could the ship take it? Major stress analysis tests of both door and ship would be necessary Now before... shut up. This is your last warning. PSV 2758 to Metro Control. Go fuck yourself, Metro Control. Over and out. Hey you. What? What's wrong with the ship? What's happening here? I believe the unorthodox manner of your departure has damaged the controls. I suspect you will find some difficulty in maneuvering. <sighs> I knew this was going to be a bad day. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. What do I do? Any attempt to repair the damage by anyone except an authorized repairman will render the factory warranty void. Warranty? I don't care about warranties. I want the ship fixed. The damage sustained is not repairable without the facilities of a competent repair station. The damage sustained is not real. You mean I'm stuck? Affirmative. Ships. I'm sorry, they are not registered with my databanks. Asian? Middle Eastern? I believe not. Without more information, I can make no reasonable assessment of their place of origin. But certain structural peculiarities are not consistent with design patterns of this planet. Dozens, hundreds, maybe thousands of them. Big, ugly things that came out of the blackness and surrounded us. Can we signal Earth? We've got to warn them somehow. Early warning systems have already spotted the approaching ships. Officials are now attempting to communicate with the alien vessels. Attention, alien vessels. Attention, alien vessels. We greet you in peace. We wish to welcome you in the spirit of friendship. Please identify yourselves. I repeat, please identify yourselves. <laughs>
my speck to them. They just a little nothing out there. They ignored me. What did they care about me? They had a whole planet to conquer. <laughs> This is an historic moment in the history of our planet, but we cannot allow you to enter our atmosphere until you have identified yourselves and communication has been established between our cultures. I repeat, we greet you in peace. We have no wish to engage in violent confrontation. Please signal if you understand us. Attention, alien vessels. ceased fire and the whole planet was dark. This wasn't fair at all. It wasn't a battle. It wasn't war. The aliens just moved in and kicked ass. From space I could see little flickers where fires were sweeping over the dead cities. I wanted to puke. going to happen with me. The situation isn't as grave as it might be. Oh, yeah, what are you talking about? I'm heading off to nowhere. I can't turn the ship around. I'm probably going to die in space. I have run a quick analysis of your present trajectory. You are actually traveling in a wide ellipse, not unlike a planetary orbit. Your path will eventually intersect with that of the Earth. You will be able to land. I think I love you. When can we land? In approximately five years, three months, 17 days. Five years? Three months, 17 days. I'll be dead. Negative. This ship contains emergency provisions to last a crew of 20 several months, more than enough to last one man the required period. Fuel will run out in a matter of months, but the ship will continue on its present course in accordance with the laws governing astrophysics. Life support systems will continue to function indefinitely. I'll go crazy. Possibly.
during takeoff. Great. The vehicles. Nothing to do, no one to talk to, no TV, no tochus. I don't know. Can, can I say that? I tried to keep myself in shape. I tried to keep my mind going. It wasn't easy. I focused my attention on the things I missed and the things I was going to catch up on when I got home. I even dabbled in the arts. I'm lost in Spain, and I want to leave you. I said I want to leave. I want to leave now. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Cheryl, can't you just give me some drugs or something? I cannot furnish drugs without the permission of an authorized doctor. What, out here? I'm sorry. It 
may interest you to know that we are approaching the midpoint of your journey. No! I thought you would be pleased. Are you kidding? Now I've got to repeat this whole trip all the way back! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! In a few weeks, we will intersect the orbit of Mercury. You will pass close enough to see the surface. That's nice. Wake me when we get there. The cooling system's not making it. You are very fortunate. A few million miles closer to the sun, and the hull of the ship would begin to melt. Oh, I just have all the luck, don't I? We are currently at our nearest point to the planet Mercury. Who gives a shit? You are the only human being ever to look directly upon its surface. So? You are very likely the only human being who ever will. Now. Seven sector four, all clear. Roger, all clear in sector four. Out. Take a look at this. It's an Earth ship. That's impossible. You were in the force. You know a private shuttle when you see one. There hasn't been one of them operational in years. Not since the takeover. Well, there is now. Just look at it. Control ship seven to base, come in. What are you doing? Reporting this ship. What can't do that. Control seven, what's happening up there? Uh, nothing. We had a bogey on the screen, but it's gone now. Are you crazy? Look, don't you understand? There's somebody on board that ship. Somebody who escaped before the takeover. A free human being. We can't turn whoever it is over to those monsters down there. power to land? More than enough in the storage cells. I'm glad you convinced me not to use them all, buddy. I would advise extreme caution in approach. Monitor whatever signals you can. I'm up here. You may want to die here, but I don't. Call in the Earth shuttle. Come in. Come in to where we are. Call in the Earth shuttle. We've got to report. We've got to report. You know what happens to people who disobey orders? They'll send us to the research center as guinea pigs. I can save us that anyway. No! Just do 
what we're supposed to, that's all. Just follow orders. I am. Good slaves of the new order. I have to know when to use this device. It's better this way. It really is. Scan for someplace uninhabited. I don't think I want any company when I land. I landed out in a field someplace. I grabbed a gun, just in case, and started out on foot. I didn't see any people at all. But that was fine. That suited me. I just enjoyed the air and the sky, the trees and grass and water. It was great. I saved my ass, but I'm sure glad you did. Thanks. Where are you from? Well, it's a long story. Well, then you won't want to tell it twice, will you? You can save it until I take you back to the others. What others? You'll see. It's a changed planet. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. So you got a name? What is it? Dana. Just Dana? Family names aren't used to here anymore. They don't seem to matter. Well, my name's Harry. Just Harry. Come along. with this strange lady because, after all, what else did I have to do? Maybe she could tell me what had gone on while I was gone. Besides, uh, she, was, uh, she was a looker even then. She led me to this crumbling pile of lumber where she and her bunch of friends lived. 
On the way, she told me about these geeks she called Ezags. And as I'd never heard of them, she looked at me as if I'd sprouted antlers. She wouldn't tell me who they were. She said she was going to take me to someone she called the old man and let him tell me. Old man? She... <laughs> Dana, who's your new friend? I found him just inside of town. I thought I asked you not to go down there. Well, sir, I'm glad she did. She saved my hide. Oh, I gather you've met the town's inhabitants. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the Izods or whatever you call them. <laughs> Good God, no. A man who doesn't know the Aizags. Where are you from? Well, originally from Chicago, but lately I've been away. Obviously not too far away. Well, that's what you think. Tell us about yourself. Okay. My name is Harry. Harry Trent. What? What did I say? Don't play games with me, young man. Hey, I'm not playing games with anybody. Well, where have you been for the last five years, Mr. Harry Trent? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Give us a try. All right, okay. I've been, I've been out in space. I stole a shuttle, I got stuck in orbit, went out past Mercury, and... It was R.G. Steinler's shuttle, as a matter of fact. You know, Daravis Steinler? Where's the shuttle now? Near here. Well, take us to it. Well, gee, thanks for the hospitality. I'll show myself out. Oh, wait. Hey, you know, five years being stuck in space, all I could think of was seeing a friendly, smiling human face again. If this is all I'm gonna get here, then I'm going someplace else. Please, let us explain. Forget it! Wait! Wait! Hey, don't play with me, woman! Sit down. Put that thing away. Sit! Nobody orders me. Sit! Please, Mr. Trent, bear with us just a little. You see, you've become somewhat famous while you're all gone. Sure, yet would you mind telling Tiger Lily to put the knife away? Please. Dana. Oh! There, now I feel more comfortable. All right, you want to fight? Come, come at me. Come on. <laughs> now sit, both of you. Dana, please. She started it. Dana, put that away. There's enough violence in the world outside. With the last remnants of civilization, we and the few enclaves like us, let's conduct ourselves as such. Let's have something to eat. Let's talk. Let's get to know one another a little better. It's been his entire life since the Aizags came. All this is quite normal to him. He's even happy, mostly. Where is Aizags come from? Anyhow. <laughs> Who knows? We don't communicate with him. We are no more to them than cattle are to us. You know, I saw that attack from space. It's horrible. That was worse from down here. I guess so. Um, so where do they come from? You know what they're doing here? I don't know. And I know as much about them as anybody. I have scars to prove it. I spent over a year with them while they studied me and I learned what I could about them. They wanted to put me to death, but I escaped. They despise the sciences, except for two. The science of warfare and the science of astronomy. And they know only as much biology as permits them to effectively torture their conquered races. The poor creatures you met in town today. Ha! Poor creatures! Well, they're the result of the Isaac experiments. They do it to find out more about human biology. They're captured, and they're dissected alive. Alive, Trent. And then when the Isaacs are through, the ones that are still living are set loose. Poor half-witted unfortunates. Who almost killed me. Oh, I believe that. But they're no more capable of real evil as a wolf or a jackal. So, here. 
So what's happened to the rest of the human race? Well, those who are left are spread pretty thinly over the face of the Earth. They're in hiding just as we are. So how do you live? Oh, life goes on, and even under the worst conditions. Men and women still make love, and children are still being born. Now, about that shuttle. My God, you were telling the truth. Now, mind you, that I gutted you for one minute. All right, now suppose you tell me exactly why my name is so well known around here. Well, I could do better than tell you. But first, have you got a tape? What tape? You were in the process of stealing an info tape from the Darabha Steiner labs when you were caught. When you fled in your shuttle. How do you guys know these things? Please, the tape. Oh, geez, I guess it's still there. I mean, I haven't thought about it since the night that I stole it. eggs knew why we were here. They were hunting us for sport. They killed him for fun. Let's go to the shuttle and find that tape. I brought her into the place I'd called home for the last five years. It was embarrassing. At least I could have let the place air out, but who expected company? Anyway, she didn't exactly live in Buckingham Palace herself. I finally find the tape and plug it in and we listen. It was all very complicated technical stuff and I'm sure most of it went over Dana's head. I, of course, had a more scientific background. It was pretty familiar to me. Cheryl? Mr. Trent? Cheryl? <clears throat> Can you analyze the tape I just plugged in and uh, give me an idea what it says? Analyzing. The tape describes a device called the Neutron 90 bomb, which could, in theory, be programmed to destroy any person or group of people selectively according to their genetic coding. Well, what does that mean? In a broad sense, if the device were given genetic characteristics of any human or animal type, upon activation, a broad spectrum beam would be emitted, which would cause complete cellular disruption to all specimens of that type. Do you mean to say that if I program this bomb to kill blue-eyed Eskimos and set it off, all specimens of the aforementioned type would be reduced to inert protoplasm? Dissolved. By the same token, set for the particular genetic characteristics of an individual human being, the lethal result would be restricted to that one individual. Set for the genetic characteristics common to all human beings... All humankind would be wiped out. Affirmative. Great. The ultimate weapon. Snuff out your next door neighbor, wipe out all of Asia. Programmed to destroy totally alien life form? Could it do that? Assuming sufficiently analogous physiological makeup, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. You. A way out, Trent. Finally, a way out! Okay, okay. Don't get your hopes up, though. Is location of this underground place given? Affirmative. Okay, is there enough power in this thing to fly us there, then? Affirmative. Trent, we're home free. We're home free. Wait, 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 wait. All right. We'll take care of the old man, then we'll come back here and we'll make plans. Come on. Come on. Among Dana's group was this technical whiz named Benton who tinkered the shuttle into shape so we could steer it. 
steered like a truck, but at least we could point it in the right direction, and we took off for Richmond. Not exactly what I planned to do on my return to Earth, but hey, I'd save the planet first, and then party a little. How much further, Twin? I don't know, about another 100 miles. We can't make too much speed flying this low to the ground. Hey, you want to try flying this thing? Me? Sure. No, I can't fly. Oh, come on, it's easy. I can't fly. No. Watch, here, I'll put it on automatic. There it goes. Now, all you gotta do is sit at the wheel. Come on. I can't, I come can't. On. Come on. Say so. Take a whole wheel. All right, now here it goes. I'll put it back on man. There's nothing to it. You better be sure. Nothing can go wrong. No weapons. We just have to outrun them if we can. the weapons? No, I didn't save the weapons. I didn't get my toothbrush or my water pick either. I didn't have time to pack. All right, don't get testy. I just wish we could have saved the handguns, that's all. Yeah, so do I. That's where we have to go. I think we're pretty close to Richmond. Yes, yeah, so suppose that we're 50 miles away from the plant. That would mean we'd have to search everywhere within a 50 mile radius of here. So that'd be what? That'd be 8,000 square miles. Good luck. We may get help. Yeah, that'd be nice. 
Well, we've got to try. I mean, we've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Don't you think we'd be traveling at night and resting during oh, the day? Oh, the aliens see better at night and they're more active in the dark. What's it like? What's it like with years in space, alone? Like prison, only worse. You were in prison? Once in a while. It's not really the character developing experience they make it out to be. It's mostly boring with a little bit of violence thrown in. What are you thinking about? Alone, five years. People mostly. Female people. Hmm, <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I had some pretty specific plans about what I wanted to do when I got back here, but it's a changed world. As the old man said, some things don't change. It's all figured out. Down to the color of the eyes and the hair. Everything. What color eyes did you have? Did they have? They? One woman wasn't enough for you, Mr. Trent? Uh, one woman couldn't possibly handle it. Craving, hunger, deep... Really? Shy, aren't you? Well, it's a tough and miserable world out there, and if you want something, you have to go get it. Oh, yeah, and uh, what is it that you want? I want you to show me everything that you were thinking about for the last five years. There's something out there. What is not?
brought some animals here from other planets. It must be one of them. I hope they can't climb. Idea fire, not out here at night. If you don't like the cold, why don't you dress a little warmer? Well, we we left our clothes over. Uh, forget it. She's asleep. I don't know how after last night with everything. Did you drink that herb tea? Yeah. Yeah, finally. Whoa, something in it? Not in it. All natural ingredients. We grow them right here. We find it makes a nice little tranquilizer. Uh huh. So that means that this uh, fragrant aroma that I sense is, um. Here. Ah. You have some. There you go. Oh. You grow this, huh? Nature provides. Oh, appreciate it. <coughs> Smooth. Oh, I guess you have to work your way up to it here. You give me oh. that. Hey, hey. Been around just... Been a while, that's all. Huh, evidently. Ah. Mm. Nice morning. Looks like rain. Yeah. Um. I guess the big catastrophe drove you here, huh? Not actually. It was about a week after it happened that I even heard about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'd been out here for four years or so, living off the land. Nature provides. Say that again. Then one day all these people came into the woods. They were starving. They were lost. They were looking for food. And you took them in? <laughs> I shot them. <laughs> you shot them? I can write. These are my woods. I can't afford to take in every stray that comes wandering through. Well, what about all these other people around here with you? Well, eventually I ran out of cartridges. You saved us. <laughs> it helped you, but you people look so damn silly sitting up in that tree. I couldn't shoot you. I guess we did. <laughs> so where are we? Right here. Um, what I want to know 
is how far we, what, I mean, what I... Why don't you give me I, that? No, no, I'm, I'm all right. Fine, so how far are we from here, like, in relation to Virginia? You're in Virginia. No, really. You're in Virginia. You're about 40 miles west of Richmond. Richmond? That's great. Where is it from here? I'd say it's about 40 miles east. Well, that makes sense. So, so how do we get there? You walk. Walk? 40 miles? Well, I... Well, I mean, well, Dana, the girl, she couldn't, she couldn't walk that far. I mean, and we got to... We really got to get there in a hurry. Why? What's there? It's... It's a secret. I can't tell you. It's a bomb. A bomb? Oh. You've heard about that? Oh, yeah. It was a feature story in Mother Earth News. You might have a little trouble getting from here to Richmond, as a matter of fact. Why is that? You'll have to cross Mad Dog Kelly's territory. Mad Dog Kelly? <laughs> What's that? Some guy carved himself a little kingdom out over there. Got quite a few people following him. Rumor has it he's a pretty mean customer. Hey, any guy who calls himself Mad Dog Kelly probably started the rumors himself. Oh, I never met the gentleman myself, but I'd be careful if I were you. Well, I can handle him. Uh, sure. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a couple of horses. Oh, that'd be great. You can ride, can't you? Mm, like the wind. Like the wind. Like the wind. Oof! Ah. Ah. Oh. Stupid horse. Having trouble? Well, you got a saddle. I suppose you ride better on a saddle, huh? Yeah, I'm a regular Roy Rogers. Show off. Look, you want some help? No! Are you sure? Come on, we haven't got all day. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Come on, horse, don't be such a schmuck. Follow the other horse. Ha. Ride like the wind, huh? <laughs> this isn't the kind of horse I'm used to. <laughs> the kind you're used to rides around circles and plays music. Very funny. Very, very droll. Well, not as funny as you on that horse. You should see yourself. <laughs> you want to take a rest? No, we don't have enough time. Time? You talk about time. One day, one way or the other is not going to make any difference. Just get going. What? You wait here. Do I have a choice? Oh, hey!
What's going on here? Hey boss, we're just having a party. Was that right? Why wasn't I invited? Who are you? Harry Trent. <laughs> oh, is that right? And I'm the Tooth Fairy. Oh, la di da, la di da, the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> you, come in. Come here. Right? <laughs> so you're Harry Trent, huh? That's right. Do you think you can lick this bunch if I hadn't shown up? What, these pansies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Maybe we should paint some flowers on the side of their bikes. You know, Trent, you could be my kind of guy. I doubt it. I've had all my shots. <laughs> Shit, you're wit. Hey, baby, poetry, huh? Come on, back to my place, Trent, and I'll show you around. Is that yours? No, we're just traveling together. Hey, she killed Murdoch. That's all right. Now we're going to exit back for Harry here. Come on, both of you, back to my place. Maybe if we get on his good side, he can give us some information. Do you think he's got a good side? You sure he can ride that thing? No, don't tell me. Like, like the, wind. the wind. that the first thing she noticed when we entered the building was the sound of generators. You could hear them throbbing and pounding under the building. She hadn't heard the sound of power being produced in over five years. My attention, on the other hand, was attracted by something else, something I hadn't seen in just as long. I didn't have any attention to spare for generators. I was thinking of settling down at Mad Dogs for a nice, long stay. This is outrageous. What the hell's your problem? I feel like I've just been taken back 50,000 years to the beginning of history. The men here are animals. The women are treated as toys. Oh, you got it, man. That's the natural order of things around here. In fact, the only thing that doesn't fit here is you. Ladies. Take our guests to your quarters. Put her in some decent clothes. I like these clothes just fine, thank you. Get out of here, move! Trent! Don't you try it! Don't you it! How do you see her anyway, Trent? I don't know. I, I was just beginning to figure that out. You know what her problem is? She's got too much brains. We don't need anything up here. Just down here. Too much brains just makes somebody happy. Quite a philosopher, aren't you? Damn right. Hey, Trent. The election. What are you try on the sense? Don't tempt me. Yeah, the best way to get rid of temptation is to yield to it. Ask a while. You know, for a fact, get some good ideas. 
Go ahead, take it. Uh, I thought there weren't supposed to be any cars or anything left here. Hey, there's plenty to go around if you know where to look. It's a world built for three billion people, babe. There's only a few million of us left to divide up the remains. Those frog faces try to wreck everything. The job was even too big for them. Believe me, there's plenty to go around if you know where to look. Seems like you're having a good time. Best goddamn time of my life. That's right, for you. Oh, I, I know, I know, I should, I should be so upset about the billions of dead, right? No amount of tears are gonna bring a single one of them back. I got my own life to live. before we take you back to Kelly. You can't teach me anything. Oh. I never could resist a challenge. Thanks, kid. You know, Trent, what the aliens have done is wipe the slate clean. We're back to basics. You think these women here are unhappy? Bullshit. I take care of them. I provide for them. And all I gotta do is look nice, Make me feel good. They're gonna be. You know, it really isn't fair. It's like offering a starving vegetarian a T-bone steak. I can't get my principles straight. Your principle seems pretty straight to me. I used to be a regular guy. Worked for a big company. Made good money. Thought I even had morals. Thought I cared about justice. You know what my company made? They made bombs and guns and tanks people I'd never even met. Little kids even. What is the justice of that? What, what company did you say? What difference does it make? It's gone now. Humor me. Alfred Steinler's outfit. Darabus Steinler? Yeah, so what? So weren't they supposed to have a secret plant somewhere in Richmond? Yeah. It was like a big ant farm under a mountain. Little scientists and flunky streaming in and out. Nobody up on top ever knew. So how'd you know? Because you were one of the ants. That's right. But not anymore. It's gone. Good riddance. Can you take me there? What for? There's something there that I need. There's nothing there that anyone needs. Look, it's really important. You gotta take me there. I don't got to do anything. I like you, pal. But don't press your luck. Hey, your friend's back. Just look. Uh, better than I expected. What do you think? Why, God! <laughs> hold it, hold it. First things first. Boys, we got a new member here. Initiate her. And, uh, save a piece for me. Give me a woman! Uh, hey, guys! Wait a minute, guys. All right, guys. Party's over. Stop! What the hell's the matter with you? Can't you wait your turn? Chair, put it down. You can't do this. Why not? Because she's my woman. Tell you something, pal. I don't get where I am today. Respecting other people's property. You're gonna fight all of us. For her? Yeah. I don't have to. I'll just fight the head guy. I see his chin. <laughs> All right, we fight. But around here, we fight for keeps. Move. Make her live. You're just as bad as he is. I'll do my own fighting. Come on, be realistic. We can't fight all those guys. Then I'll fight the head man. What do you mean? He's got a hundred pounds on you. All right, he's got a hundred pounds on me too. But at least I got a chance. Oh, you can handle him just like you handled the horse, huh? A man's got to do what a man's got to do. 
It looks like I'm losing. Run for it. Not a chance. If you lose, we go down together. If I lose, you'll go down. Hey, hero! Get over here! Ever use one of these? A little tough to shave with, aren't they? Oh, that's real funny. You're gonna be grinning from ear to ear in a minute. Now, uh, before we start, how about going over the rules? Rules? What rules? <laughs> if you kill me, you take the girl and you go. If I kill you, you're not gonna care what happens next. <laughs> well, no. How about I win, I get the girl, and you owe me a favor? Oh, that's stupid! <laughs> that's it, I don't fight. You gotta fight! No, no, no deal. I'm not fighting. No, forget about it. I'm a guest here, and if you don't change the rules, well, that's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Okay, okay. you win. If you kill me, I owe you a favor. Oh, that's better. Physiological profile. It'll be useless. Look, just take it there and let us worry about it, all right? Location a little tricky. Why is that? Because the Isaacs are sitting on it. What? You know those big tower things they build every place they go? Well, they built one right on top of it. They don't even know what they're sitting on. If they did, they'd have a stroke. The ultimate war machine. <laughs> they'd go bullshit. It's not gonna make things very easy. Hey, it makes them just about impossible. No, not impossible. Are you crazy? The Isaacs are the only real weapons on this planet. They got blasters and laser cannons, and you're gonna attack them with crossbows and slings. It's just like a woman. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can get us weapons. There are no real weapons. The Isaacs destroyed them all. Well, like the cars and the fuel refineries, huh? I guess you get your few small arms. Uh, even with a couple of handguns, we wouldn't stand a chance. You're damn right. Look, we can't take the facility by force. Maybe, just maybe, we can sneak inside. Come on, give me a break, will you? Stay inside. Oh, why not? Of course, it'll be suicide, that's why. Oh, I see, so you're afraid. I'm not afraid of anything or anyone. 
To get that through your tiny little female brain. Sure, you talk like a big man now, but in the alien's backyard, you'll be clucking a different tune, right? Nobody talks to me like that, especially not a woman. Let me get my hands in there. I'll kick you off, please. No, let him go. Calm down. Look, leave him alone. It's not going to hurt anybody. Just, just knock it off. All right, listen. Cut it out. Look, she's a woman. She knows what she's talking about, all right? Don't you leave start. You know, I guess you're right. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let me go. What? She had me go in there for a minute. Ah! 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 I got you. All right, then. Come on. Come at me. Too late. Too come late. On. Come on. Too late. You didn't hear me scream. <laughs> you did too scream. I did not scream. You did so. I did not. You did God. so. I did not. Did not. Did Shut up. up. Shut up. Can we just act like adults here and just calm down? Listen, we were talking about infiltrating the alien tower. No, you were talking about infiltrating the enemy tower. Remember? Yeah. Chicken shit here wants nothing to do with it. Oh, you know what, Trin? She's right. I don't want to be around when screaming here turns to jelly. I will not. You will too. Mm. Look, can you just take us there to show us where it's at? That's all. I don't know. I don't like the whole idea. Well, do you like the idea of a slave planet? No. I don't like the idea of human beings having a weapon like this again. Even to be used against the aliens. Yeah, and then what? When the aliens are gone, what then? Who next? I don't know. I thought about that myself. I don't know. You know something, Trent? I'll take it in. At dawn. You know what? You guys will never make it alive anyhow. Let's see you break in. Well, maybe there's a blind spot. I can see anybody approaching from any angle. Then we need a diversion. Oh, good idea. Go out and be a diversion. Why don't we let ourselves get captured? <laughs> well, it was only a suggestion. Trent, I got a helpful hint for you. There was a secret entrance to the underground plant around the other side. Mm -hmm. If you could reach it, it's your best bet. OK, all right. Kelly? Mad Dog. Mad Dog, give us about five minutes. I haven't got a watch. <clears throat> well, here, take my watch. Hey, that's nice. Now you haven't got a watch. Well, here, take my watch. Uh, forget about watches. Look, just count to 3,000. That'll give us enough time to get over to the other side and we'll get our bearing straight. Yeah, then what? Then pick off one of those guards. Are you crazy? No, that's good. The rest of the sentries will be taken by surprise, and then they'll all come around to this side to see who did it. Well, that's really good. They don't come after me. Um, they don't know you got a gun, and they don't know you have a car. You'll be making a clean getaway where they're looking for some guy who's on foot here. You know, it sounds okay, but I know there's a catch. Trust me. Come on. Can you count to 3,000? Of course I can, Kelly. Oh, yeah? Well, Megan, love? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that it? Must be. It's very secret to me. No, it doesn't look too secret to me either. They gotta know about this. What are you gonna do? No time to get back to Kelly and stop him. Of the chance it. 
We made it. Where's everybody? I don't know. I don't think they know what they've got here. They've only posted a few token guards. Face pass has nailed my car. Ah, what kind of place is this? There's no bomb here. This is Christ trip, but now you should be able to trust me. Come on. Someone that's got the neutron 90. So what, Trent? The program you're talking about would take months just to plan. We knew what we were doing, which we don't. Your friend is right. I know as much about that device as any man. Probably more than any man now. And I've been working on the program you need for more than a year. Who are you? Hoppenstein. Isaac Hoppenstein. Oh, so this is your baby, huh? My name's Kelly. Malcolm Kelly. Malcolm? <laughs> The name's not familiar. I know. I work in another division. You designed this thing? Not alone. But the main concept was mine.
my heart just sank right into my sneakers. Here we were, in an empty room. This fruitcake, Hoffenstein was going to save the world with an empty room. This is the device you're pinning the hopes of all mankind on. And it's the most terrible killing machine the human race has yet perfected. All right, where are the controls? It's totally voice activated, and it's useless. Useless? A little over a year ago, I escaped from my alien captors and made my way here. The outside door is impregnable, as you know, and there was a supply of food and water. I was left alone in peace to work on the problem myself. But no luck. I'm afraid not. It's only a matter of time before they break in. And I don't suppose they'll have any trouble learning how to use it to break down human physiology. Wait a second, wait a second. I've got it. You know what's wrong with you, Hoppenstein? Is that you're a genius. You're too brilliant to look for a simple solution. Meaning what? If you can't program the machine on what you don't know, then program it on what you do and work backwards. What are you babbling about? Feed the basic physiological patterns of Earth life forms into the machine and tell it to kill everything that does not conform. That's stupid. No, that makes sense. It does? Then why didn't you think of it? I don't know. I was too busy trying to understand the alien physiology. It never occurred to me to think backwards. That's the price of being a genius, I suppose. Then it will work. It would. How do you mean would? In order to do that, I would have to link the Neutron 90 with the central computer data bank. So do it. Push some buttons. It's not a question of pushing buttons. There's a code. Which you don't have, right? Sorry. Uh, the, the Pentagon, you see, didn't want one man to have such power. So the code linking the two computers was sort of their secret. Fears. Ironically enough, I had convinced them to trust me with the code just prior to the alien attack. It was included in a tape that outlined the government policy for the use of the Neutron 90. But it was stolen in transit. It never reached here. What? Come on, give it to me. Now, with everybody watching? The tape. Give me the tape. Oh, here, take it. Here, use it quickly. This is the... Yes, it's the missing tape. Now use it. Computer. Scan tape for intercomputer link code and activate link with central computer data banks. Good. Now listen very carefully. I want you to cross correlate the physiological patterns of all life forms native to the planet Earth and construct a master pattern of Earth physiology. How long will that take? Not enough time.
those bastards all over the place. Here, here, here. Quick, come in here. medical profile on Professor Isaac Hoffenstein from the company records. Scan the electrocardiogram pattern and program the Neutron 90 to terminate. Is somebody going to light this cigar for me? You stupid. Just save the entire planet, you and your machine here. I hated this thing more than anybody. Right now, I'm awfully glad it was made. But... Future generations, future generations are going to need a man like you. Just try to be a little bit more careful in the future, okay? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, zero. How long will it be before mankind reaches such a peak of destructive power again? It's up to us to see they never do. This is, in a way, a new beginning, a fresh start. On the ashes of a dead civilization, a new humanity, a better race can emerge, where people don't create machines of destruction, but live together in peace and harmony, a world of joy and happiness for all people. 
a world of peace it's up to us